Hi students, um, I told you on Friday that I was going to be taking apart some owl pellets. Well, I have some right here and I'm going to show you what we're going to find. So um, already there's this one that's kind of like a pile and there are these mouse skulls in it. And you can see even the teeth on the mouth um, from the mouse skull, which is pretty crazy to be able to see that. But I have this pellet right here, which is like really well formed and we can't really tell what's inside of it. There's some white bits for sure, um, but I'm gonna take some of this apart and we're gonna see what we can find. Um, so on Friday we learned, oh wow, we learned about the parts that the owl, when it eats an animal, it can't digest. So it can't digest bone and it can't digest fur. So that's what we're seeing a lot of in this owl pellet. Wow, it's so cool to be able to just like unfold all of this interesting stuff. So I can see that there's starting to be a skull right here from some little mousy type creature. See there, it's its front teeth. Because mice, or not mice, what, owls, when they eat critters, they eat them whole. They don't chew or anything like that. They swallow it and then it goes and sits in that part of their belly called a gizzard, which we don't have because we're not owls. They're really specialized little parts of an owl that's kind of like before the stomach. And this one, there's kind of like another little mouse skull in here. So this owl definitely had a nice few couple snacks for sure. Um, you can find owl pellets all over the place. Um, good places to look are near barns, because owls like to roost or put their nests in barns. Um, you can find it at the bottom of trees. There's lots of different places that you can find owl nests. So there's another little school you can see where the little mice eyes were, and this little bottom jaw too. I know that this might seem a little bit yucky to some of you guys, but I just think it's so interesting to be able to see exactly what the owl was eating. Owls are such interesting animals and they help the world because if there wasn't anything eating mice, mice can be kind of problems in the world and they can get into houses and they can make people sick or other animals sick. So it's really important to have animals like owls and other animals that are willing to eat these little rodent creatures that can be kind of a nuisance.